Okay, I am starting another 20 ounce Maker Flow um, Milky Way design tumbler here. I'm doing another purple one. While this one came out super pretty, it's not as purple as I wanted it to be for her. So I'm going to go ahead and remake that one and then this one I'll put some kind of a decal on and it can go to retail. So I'm going to start by putting my resin on quick. And this is only going to take the slightest amount. I mean, two, three milliliters. You don't want much. So I'm just going to, oh, and I meant to put another glove on. I'm just going to pour a tiny bit on. And I'm going to spread that out. This is just to act as an adhesive for the glitter. I am. Um, I didn't have a purple purple chunky mix when I did the first ones in purple, and now I do. So we'll see how this goes this time around. I know I'm only using a tiny bit in this, and you saw I had a big cup mixed up. That's because I've got two other cups to do, at least after these, or after this one. <clears throat> so, that's why I have 100 mLs mixed up. Alright. So that is spread. I'm going to take the sticky glove off. Okay, I'm going to get some papers under here. Um, typically when I do a Milky Way, I don't worry about saving the glitter. I end up putting it all in a dump cup together. So, eventually I will do a cup with all of the colors of this. Um, actually, here. I end up storing them in these containers so um, when they're a pretty mix I'll keep them so even though I'm not gonna pour it back into the containers I'm not wasting it all right I'm just grabbing another pair of gloves these are still nitrile but they're just a cheaper and I trial because I'm not going to touch the resin again on this one. So I have some little glitter spoons ready because most of these are not in a, none of these are in a shaker in fact. So I'm going to use Two Birds Designs um, Wildcat which is a super bright, it's not really fine but it's not chunky either. I'm going to use the Glitter Bay Pearl that you've seen me use on pretty much all of these. Um, I have Two Bird Designs Marilyn. Because this is in a bag, I put some in a cup. So, this is the Chunky Mix. It's Two Bird Designs um, Ursula. And then I also have from Two Birds Designs Indigo. So, those are the five colors I'm going to use for this one. I am going to start with the indigo, which I know this isn't really a purple, but I didn't want it. I want it purple, but I didn't want all purple, if that makes sense. So, I'm just going to start at the top and kind of let the cup come to me. Try not to chase the cup. I just kind of try and work down the cup. And it's okay if they overlap a little bit. 
I'm not going to use all of this. Whatever I don't use in the cup will obviously go back in the bags. That is good for that one. So I'm going to move up a step to the Wildcat, which is a purple purple, but a slightly chunkier glitter. <clears throat> Wait for it to come around again and give it one more pass. Okay, then I'm going to move on to the Ursula, which was the chunky, chunky. I'm going to do a relatively wide band of this. I'm going to pull my papers a little bit towards me too, since 90% of it's falling off that direction. That should be good, but I'm going to watch it. Then I'm going to move on to the fine white to break up the chunkies. This is the Marilyn. It's a diamondy white. And I'm going to keep my whites maybe a little thinner on this one. Perhaps. it's okay if some of that white sticks in the purple and then last but not least the pearl which is a whitish silver chunky mix again I'm going to try and keep this a little bit skinnier Watch it come around one more time. Okay. And I'm going to go back to the beginning and do another path of each. wait for it to come around again. I can tell my cup's slipping a little. I will fix that for while it's turning, but for now it's fine. All right, that's a nice thin smooth line of indigo. So that should be good for that. I'm going to come back in with this chunky. 
which looks really pretty under or over the resin. I can't wait to see it under some resin. And watch for it to come around again. I may go a little bit wider with this one because I still have a lot of space that's going to be white otherwise. And this white is so skinny, I don't mind if the next band's a little bit wider. But... I do really like this color, so I'm cool with having a bit more of this. And because these do taper, you end up with a smaller section at the bottom than the top, usually. Of any particular color. That should be good. So I'm going to come back in with that Marilyn. For another pass. And I may end up filling a tiny chunk at the top with another purple. If I feel like the white's gotten too wide. That's good with that one. And I do think I have this glitter from Two Birds Design, a similar one. Um, I probably should have just grabbed that and then I could have kept the same glitter vendor for the entire cup, but I wasn't thinking. Might not be exactly the same, but it would have been close enough for the same effect. So I do think I'm going to come back in with a tiny bit of Wildcat and then a tiny bit of the Chunky. Just to finish it off. They can blend right over top of that indigo. I don't know why I have my turner running so slow. I'm not thinking this one has an adjustable speed. This could have been a lot quicker. All right. And I'm going to come back in with that Ursula Chunky. It's so pretty. It's like purple and black. Again, I think the other one was super pretty too, but I feel like this one's going to be more dramatic. And I'm going to let this spin for a little bit, and then I'll come in and try and tap the chunky down a little bit. And then it'll probably get two coats of a clear coat. I will probably only show you one because that's always the same over and over again. But I'll come in and then tap the chunky after it's sat for a little bit longer than this. But I'm probably not going to do the wax paper method just because there's so many different glitters going on here. I will probably just, like you see me doing now, tap it down with a gloved finger. Just so as many are laying as possible. Oh, which reminds me, the bottom of the cup. So, for the bottom, let me get this down to one paper. I don't want to contaminate all of this, but I'm going to 
kind of mix it up and I'm going to tilt the turner up and just kind of probably too high but I want you to be able to see um, and I'm just gonna shake the mix if you're not interested in saving what's on your paper you can take the cup off the turner and tap it right onto the paper itself but I don't want to waste all of this glitter I want it to be you know what is now a custom mix so I just shake it onto the bottom and that is it all I do for the bottom all right that's it I'll be back so before I do the resin coat on this one I'm gonna give it a coat of the um, CCD CCDIY um, quick coat urethane sealer because I have it and I haven't tried it yet so I'm just going to because this is a chunky use my gloved finger and kind of go with the direction of the glitter some of this may move but it's pretty runny I'm hoping it'll help with any fish eyes and just filling in any of those little gaps and cracks. I'm going to put this on and then let it dry for a good hour before I come back in and do my um, top coat. I kind of flooded it there. Whoops. <laughs> This is just like a little sample she sent me, so. I'm gonna try it also on the next um, Tack It Chameleon I do, just to see if it helps prevent any of the fish eyes. It's an alternative to using a spray sealer, really. Um, I wouldn't use it on something you're really worried about glitters getting mixed though. This one I'm not terribly concerned because it's getting that mica coat. So I'm gonna wait for that white band to come back around. My hope is that it might help fill in some of those gaps where the epoxy would otherwise have to get all under and around. But I can see where I've gotten because it's glossier now. Um, I'm just going to pour a tiny bit on my fingers to do the bottom and just swirl it around. So, I will let this spin for a bit, probably go make dinner or whatever, while it's drying. And I probably used more of that than I needed. Um, so, we'll see. We'll see if it makes a difference when I get to the resin coat. Okay, I am ready to get just a quick clear coat on this. I'm going to give it a pretty good layer. I don't want to put my hand in my cup. Because I don't want to contaminate if any of the glitter should still be able to move. This is going to get a pretty good thick coat. There's still a tiny bit of glitter moving, so. I'm trying to keep about 20 
mls in this cup so because i have one more to do so i want 20 or 30 for that one i'm just working on final coats on a couple of other cups so okay so that's good for that and this will require a little bit of sanding, most likely. I mean, definitely. No most likely about it. And potentially one more clear coat before I get to that point. Because it's chunky. A lot of the fine is still traveling, but that's all right. So I will be back when I'm ready for the next step. Okay, so my video cut out on me there a second. Um, actually, probably missed it all for whatever reason. So I'm back to finish up this purple Milky Way. All I've done so far, all you missed was I put um, about 15 mls of resin on the cup. I'm trying to get my hands cleaned up and my wrist because I did just get a little resin on myself. I mixed um, some Woody's Goodies Sapphire resin or mica in a little bit of resin and I added a few drops of vineyard just to make it a little more purple than blue. And in another cup I mixed up some Woody's Goodies Frosty Pearl I'm going to grab a pair of gloves, and we'll get started on the Milky Way part. My hands are wet from that baby wipe, so it's going to be a little harder to get the gloves on. Sorry about that. Um... I don't think I'm going to hit this with the heat gun at all. I don't want it to move a ton. So I think I'm just going to quick hit it with the torch. And whatever movement I get from the torch, I'm going to call good enough. Um, I'm going to try and get a little bit of the purpley blue over the white part. And then just the white and the purple is my plan. But I'm going to start with the purple. Sapphire, whatever. Mix. We'll get a little bit more just on the edges in a couple spots. Okay, and then I'm going to come in with the white frosty pearl. And I'm just going to go with the cup as it turns. I don't want it too much, but I want enough. To get that overlay Milky Way effect. And this is pretty thick. It's been sitting a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes. So it won't move probably as much, but I'm actually okay with that if it doesn't move quite as much. So I'm going to start with just that. And again, I am not going to hit it with the heat gun. I'm going to let it do a couple of rotations on its own. And then I'm just going to give it quick hits with the torch. And hopefully that will be enough to give it a little bit of movement, but not too much. I 
plus it'll get any air bubbles out. Basically, you're just going to torch it back and forth quick, quick, quick until I see it start to move. When I see it start to move, I am going to back off from that section. Like that's already starting to move. I really like the way this frosty pearl mixed. It's super pretty. And that sapphire is really starting to move. And I did get some on the bottom, so I do want to heat that a little bit. When you're torching, be sure to keep your torch moving at all, <coughs> excuse me, at all times. <coughs> um, that way you don't scorch anything or burn anything. I'm just going to watch it spin a minute and see if I want to hit any spots again. The top's moving quite a bit. This is moving quite a bit. So, I may actually drag through and break some of that up. And by that I mean drag through and break it up. So. It'll move and fill back in some. It'll just thin it out a little bit. I'm just wiping and then wiping it off on my glove. Just because I don't want it doing this running straight lines around the cup thing. I think that the white is going to look much, much lighter to you guys than to me. Alright, so the last thing I'm going to do is I'm actually going to switch the root direction of the turn. And that is it. I'm just going to let it spin out and do its thing. Well, that is my second purple Milky Way. I'm actually going to bring this one and the original one into my client and let them decide if they like the darker version or the lighter version better. So, that's it. Thanks for watching.